Welcome all James Bond fans. Um, the new movie is about to start in a week or so. And although it's not really in the movie and never used by Bond, um, after the laser watch I had to make a shooting watch. And what you see here is the barrel. Fake display to indicate uh, charge status. We'll light up blue. Uh, that's just a golden panel. And here's the charge button, the fire button. Because all it needs is a battery charge. And uh, yeah, we will just dive right into the action and kill a light bulb. Light bulb. Tiny but effective. <clears throat> the smaller the projectile, the bigger the fun. Totally not. Just for taking out light bulbs, I thought you might need more punch. Yeah. <laughs> no fancy tools. People ask me how you do this, a lot of patience and fingers way too fat. Moving on. Test fire. Yep. After 10 test shots with high power, full power. That's what you get, charred plexiglass, and when it looks like this, I clean it in the front just a bit. And uh, when it looks like this, you have to make a new one. And uh, yeah, it lasts probably um, the electrodes and the triggering is actually just copper wires, two copper wires, uh, twisted and turned and clipped at the tip. Uh, got the idea from a guy called Lumi, thanks for that. And my idea was to uh, just glue it into a piece of plexiglass and uh, make threads on it. So you can just uh, screw it into your, your cannon. This is an M5 thread, 10 to 20 shots depending on the energy. Uh, so it will short itself when it reaches the chart part. So then you know it's time for a new one. So that's what I use for the, as a projectile, uh, piece of plexiglass and uh, this one, you can barely see it, it's uh, now copper coated. You can see a tiny glare, metal coating, actually pretty interesting. So for the display, display it's a fake display, I have uh, spray painted a piece of plexiglass and uh, I will now just um, put some numbers in it. Seems to work. And then I'll put some uh, LEDs behind it to light it up. Um, probably the LED connected to the um, capacitor charger. And uh, when it's charged, it will light up blue and indicate ready to fire status. We will see how that works. So 
So that's the power supply unit for the high power shot. I needed a bit more power. Uh, 820 farad, microfarad uh, capacitor. I will show you how to uh, make one of those on my other channel called Self Made. Uh, yeah, the Self Made channel. Um, yeah, the name says it all. Uh, tutorials and how to's. So, sub there if you want to learn how to make one of these. Probably the next video will show how to make a tiny electrothermal gun and or one of those uh, capacitor chargers and uh, yeah the power supply